Africa, renowned for its abundant cultural tapestry, reflects this diversity through its cuisine. Every dish tells a story, an immersion into a world where tradition meets innovation, reflecting the continent's history and culture. It's where local ingredients are celebrated in elegant presentations that speak volumes about the continent's diverse heritage. Embarking on fine dining and culinary adventures in Africa is a sensory exploration weaving together tastes, scents, and cultural tales. At Meza Malonga, each dinner transcends a mere meal. It becomes an immersive tour across the African continent. Uh, our food identity is um, Afrofusion cu cuisine. Uh, it's a bridge between different uh, cuisines in Africa. Uh, like in one plate, sometimes you can find uh, spices from Nigeria and ingredients from Rwanda, or can be seafood from Tanzania or like a vegetable from, uh, uh, from Uganda. Like we try uh, to bring uh, ingredients and to create something. Uh, what I say to people like uh, um, to eat well, is, if it's possible, eat well not mean expensive. Eat well like to know what you're eating because our food is the best medicine. The experience that we offer uh, is like, uh, uh, let's say, the work beyond is, uh, is a chain work. Uh, the, the most of uh, uh, very important, our experience start in the farm because at the end of the day, um, if we have a good product, we have a good receipt. So the experience starts in the farm. After the farm is like the team. The team will work, and uh, we uh, we try really uh, to um, give an experience to our guest. Of a story beyond, like my story, story of my team. Uh, we travel a lot in different countries in Africa. What we do when we go to like in one country, we go to learn by grandmother, and uh, after when we come uh, to our place, we call it laboratory, we try to give a modern touch. Food is a language that connects people, evokes memories, and tells stories. When we talk about food, is, a, is a sharing and education. The ambition was like to create an exchange uh, a project, like not only restaurant, but exchange. People come, we learn, and learn for us. That's what, that, what that we wanted. Uh, um, uh, to, to do and it was not easy like you say like fun. when people uh, uh, hear about uh, fine dining it's like fancy place and fancy food but for us it's somewhat different we we offer to our guests what we have an example we don't have a menu we don't have a menu to Mesa Malonga we share what we have in our farm so we uh, we spend time with my uh, team and we start in the morning till the evening open just one time like we have I think let's say 12 hours before to welcome our, 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 um, our guest. That's why uh, we spend more time, open just four to three days in the week, and it take more time for us to create and to innovate. In the week or in the month, we can create more than uh, like 30 recipe, and we use only 10 or like nine. So uh, we, we work a lot and uh, uh, we are just uh, doing uh, um, uh, like in the restaurant, walk outside from the restaurant. We spend time in Musanze. There is our farm and that's our laboratory. Malonga and his team spend hours crafting recipes, testing combinations of flavors, textures and techniques to push the boundaries of taste and presentation. So Rwanda was funny because I came just for a wedding for my Rwandan friend who did a wedding in Musanze. When I came and uh, uh, the first day I said like, uh, oh, uh, I love this country. I will come one day here. And after I came back again, and I was uh, in love with Musanze uh, district. Why? For many reasons. I love the ecosystem. Um, I love the soil because I, I also grew up in the farmer family. Like, um, um, I found uh, the similar uh, with my country, the place I am in, uh, in, in Congo Brazzaville. And that's why I decided exactly to do my first project here in Rwanda. When I came in Rwanda, uh, I invest first in, uh, in farming. Like uh, we started farming because uh, 
I know that one day uh, I will open uh, uh, a restaurant in Rwanda and that I start to farm. So we do uh, from farm to table concept. We have our farm in, uh, in Musanze. We have seven hectares we use for farming. And also we bring seed from different countries in, uh, in Africa. And also the good thing for Rwanda that we have a different ecosystem. Like in Musanze it's cold. When you go to Nyagatari, it's somewhere hot. Like why we use all of this place, uh, two, two ecosystem to farm our vegetables. And after COVID, COVID came, and we uh, lost everything <laughs> what, what I gave. And uh, um, after that, we start again from scratch. We start with the restaurant and trainings. And uh, yeah, I think at the end of the day, um, if you know what you want, sometimes uh, the bill can be uh, cheap. Let's say the investment can be cheap if you know what you want exactly. And we start with a very modest uh, uh, restaurant. Even till now, it's like very modest, not like a fancy restaurant that we've had uh, for us. Uh, the ambition was like uh, to have a good, uh, to share an, 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 a very good, amazing uh, experience. His motivation and passion stems from a deep-rooted love for the craft. His relentless pursuit of excellence and the desire to create memorable experiences through the art of cooking has gained him global recognition and numerous awards. Before, before to study culinary, I was already an entrepreneur. I was doing a, a cake uh, for, share, for selling in the school or sometimes for anniversary uh, um, a cake for friends. Like, uh, the, I think the entrepreneurial uh, mind was already before to, to, to learn um, uh, cooking. So uh, today is like uh, um, food. I say to people, like, people don't buy Mercedes or like Audi every day. People eat every day. This is like pe people eat and drink. This is like, like uh, uh, um, uh, for me, like the job that you can, like, like, like it's like an area that can find job most of the time because people eat. And also, at um, the end of the day, uh, is a passion. What do you feel and what do you share with your guests? Um, uh, we are like, uh, uh, with my team, we want really and we are doing uh, 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 big progress and promoting uh, African uh, uh, ingredients and African culinary in Rwanda and also outside from the country. Uh, last year was one of the 50 best restaurants. We are getting many prizes. We are traveling uh, in many countries to go to represent uh, Rwanda and also Africa with the work we are doing. This is exactly the ambition. Since 2018, Malonga's journey has been one filled with discovery. Working in a kitchen often involves collaboration and teamwork. We start together like 2018. Uh, the time we come in, uh, here in Rwanda, we meet and uh, we start working together as, uh, until we start the, this restaurant, till now we are together. It was not easy for starting. Because as we know, like culture of Rwanda, like boys, they were not allowed to cook because it was for ladies. But we start to learn how, why not us? And when you see, when you go in many kitchens, you find like the chefs, most of them, they are men and they are working good. And uh, he bring like system of Afrofusion here in Rwanda and see is uh, is growing up. Now we are known like in Africa and the whole world. Malonga's focus has been on educating and exposing unique African cuisines with the aim to educate and empower young people with skills. Meza Malonga has trained more than 20 chefs in Rwanda. Meza Malonga is a, is a concept is very different than other restaurant. We start with trainings, like we train uh, 10 young uh, girls and boys uh, um, every two years. The ambition like to give them skills that they can one day be a chef somewhere or they can open the, uh, their, uh, their, their own entreprise. So um, we, we are really on a transmission uh, concept. Uh, what we do uh, really we focus on, the, on teaching. Till now we have, uh, since uh, three years we, we work here, we have a project in Rwanda. We have trained more than 25 uh, uh, young chefs. And now we are uh, building uh, our project in Musanze. It will be finished uh, in a few months. And uh, I hope uh, like next year we will uh, welcome more uh, many young people to train them to be a chef of tomorrow. And also the concept is free, like we do teaching for free. Everything is possible. If you like it, please try to do it. 
you don't know your future, maybe it's something inside you, you don't want like to open, to be open and it comes out. Uh, we have uh, examples of people who are inspiring us. They are big chefs. Uh, is some, they get money from that. Uh, it's not considered for those people who are discouraging them like cooking is for your mother. Go and uh, your mother can teach you cooking. You can go to school and you learn it. You get experience. When you like the things, it comes to you. The culinary landscape has evolved over the years in Rwanda. We are witnessing a renaissance of African gastronomy. I came in Rwanda uh, my first time was 2000, 2016-17. Uh, now I see things are changing. Uh, we have many amazing restaurants in Rwanda. And also um, the, food, the food scene is now open now. That does the good things. Uh, people are, are, are now investing money for food and for uh, good food, I can say. And uh, um, people are talking about food. People are, um, are creating now content about food online in media. So that I think uh, is a, for me, it's like a huge revolution since uh, five years that's happening in Rwanda food scene. African cuisine was often overlooked on the global stage, but now it's gaining well-deserved recognition. People are embracing the diversity and complexity of the flavors that African cuisine offers. For Malonga, his passion started from home, watching his grandmother prepare food. Uh, it's a family business. <laughs> I grew up in a family that most of people have a restaurant. And also, uh, my grandmother, she owned a restaurant. I think at the place I grew up, I grew up with my grandmother. Uh, I think um, uh, the love of food comes from uh, uh, my story and my grandmother. And I grew up in the family like, uh, the, the things that most of people do is like cooking. Uh, when I came back, when I came back to, uh, to when, I, when I came to, 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 to Germany, this grandmother food is missing. And uh, that's why I started to cook by myself. Uh, and uh, from cooking myself and come a passion. So I, I was born in Congo, uh, Brazzaville. Uh, I grew up in Germany and I studied in Germany. I studied culinary uh, in Germany. I was also in university. There I studied uh, uh, biochemie. And uh, um, I took like uh, two years only to travel around African continent. My ambition was like to understand about African cuisine because um, I've learned the new technology. I was working in a, in a Star Michelin restaurant, one of the high, um, high like say, haute gamme, cuisine haute gamme in, uh, in, in France and also in Germany. My ambition is like uh, with this technique I've learned in Europe to introduce the ingredients wave in Africa. That's why I took two years just to travel around Africa. Until now, I visit more than uh, 49 countries and remaining more now uh, uh, five to finish our countries. So um, the ambitions like to promote the African ingredients and, uh, um, and also to use the international technique, like the modern technique that we use. Uh, I have a wonderful team that we, we understand exactly uh, the 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 ambition that we have and the, um, and the experience that we offer with our guests. 